Hello viewers, our next exercise is find the square roots of the following numbers by division method. So what is that? First one is 1089. So take like this and divide from right side to two numbers. So near to 10, what is the perfect square number? Below to that, it will be 9. So 3, 3 is a 9. Then subtract 1, 89 take it as as. 189. So our next step is whatever quotient is there here for that we have to take double. So 3 into 2 6 then 2 places will be there. So if you take 61 here whatever number we will take here same that number only we will get. So what number we will take here 1 1 means let's start with 1 1. So 61 into 1 that will be 61. Then here let's take 62 into 2 then what you will get 62 into 2 will be 124. So it's not matching with 189. Then 63 into 3. Then what you will get 62, 63. So 63 into 3. What you will get 189. So whatever number you will place here. Same number you have to place here. So 189. Then we are getting 0. So what is the quotient here? 33. 33 that is square root of 1089 will be equal to 33. That means 33 into 33 you can write. Then 2304. So 2304. So let's start from divide. So 23 near to that what is the perfect square number? Below to that 25 but below to 23. So, 4 4 is 16. So, 23 minus 16 will be 7. Then, let's take 0 4 as it is. Then, 4 2 is a what? 8. So, here, here we need to take same place. So, 81 into 1. That is 81. Then, 82 into 2. So, what you will get 82 into 2. So, 164. So, like that if you go continuously means 7 not 4 where you will get I think it is 88 into 8 then so 88 is a 64 right so for that based on this also you can check 88 is a 64 so what you will get 88 into 8 7 not 4 so here 8 here also 8 that means quotient is what 48 that means what is that square root of 2 3 0 4 will be equal to 48 like that we need to do. Our next one is what is that 7744. So what is that? So let's take square root of 7744. So 7744. So let's divide with two, two groups. Let's take that one. So here what you are getting here is. So here what you are getting 7744. So let's take near to that which one is a perfect square number. So 81, 89 names are, then 88 is a 64. You can take 64. So 77 minus 64, what is that? 13. Then 4, 4, take like that only. So 8, 2 is a 16. 16. Here, here, 1, 1 place is there. So what you can take 161 into 1, that will be 161. Then 162 into 2, then that one will be 162 into 2 will be 324. Like that, where you will get 1344. Let's take here unit digit is 4. So for that, what you can take here is 8, 168 into 8. 8 is a 64, right? So for that, you can take 168 into 8. So 1344. So here. 168 into 8 then what you can take here 1344 4, that will become 0 that means square root of 7744 4 will be equal to so what is this quotient 88 so that is the answer our next one is 6084 so divide this 2 2 as one group and below 60 what is this perfect square numbers 8 means 64 then 7 7 is a 49 then what you will get 1 1 that is 11 you will get 
so 84 as it is so 7 2 is a what 14 then in this place and this place is wicket so 141 into 1 that is 141 then 142 into 2 then what you'll get here is 142 into 2 will be 284 so what is the number here 4 it is there for that's 88 is a 64 wicket the 148 into 8 then what you'll get we have to check so you'll get 1184 so here definitely 88 how you can get 8 how I'm getting here 88 means so last number I'm checking here for that it will come as 64 1184 will be become 0 then what is that square root of 6084 will be equal to 78 so here quotient is 78 for that like that thanks for watching please subscribe so in the first question what is our last one is 9025 so let's take 9025 as it is divide this as 2 to as 1 group so let's take here below this 81 will get as a perfect square so 9 nines are 81 then 9 will be take then 925 will get so 9 twos are what 18 so then here here one one place will be there so what you can take 181 into 1 that is 181 then 182 into 2 then what you'll get 182 into 2 that will be 364 so what is the last digit here 5 so you can take 5 for the 25 maybe 185 into 5 what you'll get we're going to check 185 into 5 will be 925 so here 5 you are 5 so 925 then you'll get reminder as 0 then what is the quotient here 95 that means square root of 9025 will be equal to 95